Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? Oh, and the weather great where you are? Spring is about to sp spring up and look at us here in about, well, let's, well, over a week, according to the calendar. Uh, <laughs> we're getting ready to paint this seagull right here. And this, this is a majestic national bird, and uh, it should be a very majestic bird. And basically, we're going to use three colors on it. We're going to use yellow and yellow on this. I probably will be mixing a little bit of it to give different hues, but you got to start somewhere, right? So we're going to start with white. And I'm going to get me a piece of paper towel so I have something to wipe my brush off on. I've got my black paint, my white paint, my yellow paint up here ready to go. You've seen me engrave the plaque. You've seen me stain the plaque. The plaque is all dry and ready to rock. And so am I. So we're going to grab our brush and we're going to just go in dirty right into the, the bottle of paint. And uh, the eagle's head. So we're going to start with the eagle's head. Go right up around the top of the head there. Right at the edge of the engraved line. And here around the front of the head and a little jagged line which separates the head and neck part from the body This comes right down around that beak between the beak and the eye. Go right around the top of that eye. Just pull it on out around. Grab and pull. This nice little micro is great for grabbing the extra paint. Pulling it on down. Go around the back of the head. Get a little more paint on the brush. Get right in here around these feathers. We'll go to the bottom of the eye. That's the other outline we got to do. And then once we get that, we can just come right on down the head. How simple this is. I mean, this is not rocket science. People say, oh, I could never do that. Yes, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. Get your design traced out on something and go to painting. You'll never know until you get started at it what you, you are capable of. And yes, perhaps the first couple paintings that you do won't be magnificent works of art. <laughs> but you got to start somewhere. Practice makes perfect. When you was in school and you started writing your alphabet down, was a mess. But the more practice you got, your penmanship improved and improved and improved. I can remember when I was in grade school, my mother used to just make me sit for hours doing my alphabet on a piece of paper. I mean, basically it was, you're going to do this and you're going to do it right or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so you learn. If you want to survive. Now his tail is also white. So we're going to come in right around the bottom. Here. And we don't want to get it on his little feet. So we come in right around his feet. And get his tail. Outline it here at the bottom and color in the middle with the paint, making sure that you don't leave lots behind. Just like that. Now I'm going to take another look 
at a picture here. I'm pretty sure the wings were all black, but I don't want to make any miss. So I'm just going to refresh my memory just to be sure. Let's get some pictures of yeah, they're, they're all black or or brown. I mean, depending upon what pictures you look at, sometimes they're black and sometimes they're kind of brown. Sometimes they're kind of a shaded in between there, but the wings are all the same color as the body of the bird. That's what I wanted to see. Very cool. Very cool. Understood. So, with that being said, I'm to the black paint and dip my brush in. I'm going to start right up in here and you take right up to the head feathers there and I'm just going to color in around them just going around them a little bit now if you happen to get a little black paint up on that white it's not going to hurt nothing but you want to kind of keep it separated if you can these little micro brushes to do that if he's working with a big old paintbrush now it might be a little bit different but these little sponge heads on these Micro brushes just get in all the little nooks and crannies and just make it all so perfect. Let me something. <laughs> I'm sure glad I decided to try these micro brushes. Then I don't know, a few months now since I've been using them. I love them. Time to buckle down and decide to try them because I thought, oh, them little old sponge things, they can't be no count. What do you got? <laughs> Watch me go. It's got a wing up on this side, so I'll get that wing over there. It's just the edge of the wing showing. Come down to this wing, taking it right up to the engraving line. And it, I, don't, I don't know if you've ever noticed how I'm doing this, but when I start in, I, I'm about like a sixteenth of an inch away from the line. Well, then I just drag it right in up to that line is how I'm doing that. You try to start right on the line, you're liable to go over the line. So you start out just a tad away from it and just drag it right up to the line. It makes your life simpler. Okay, now we're going to go right up this tail around the, these feathers here on the wing. Like that. The bottom of the bird. And then I'm just going to start over here. I mean, I could start it anywhere. I've got an outline, but all this in here is going to be filled in. Once we get it filled in, we can take a little black into some white and make just a dark shade of gray shading to define wings and feathers. Blend all that in. Plenty of paint on the bird. I'm just grabbing where it's heavy and dragging it down the wing. Filling it in.
Fill it in down here. Bling. Making sure we get it covered. Don't leave any naked spots on there. We don't want a naked eagle. Now we've got the, the body of the bird here. Once we get him all painted, then he'll have to dry. Once he's dry, we'll cry on on. I use the triple thick gloss. And once that's dry, then we'll turn him over and we'll put the back of him and we'll put a hanger on him and he'll be ready to rock and roll. Painting to do here to finish him up. We're more than half done. I hope you're watching this whole video. If you are, you might let me know that. I know so many people are in a big rush and they don't watch this anymore. They put them on in the background, and I'm as guilty of it as anybody else. You get busy, you can't watch them all, but. I'm hoping that encouraging some of you to be creative and try something new. That's the whole idea of doing these, these videos. Is show creative too. Things that you can create. Beautiful pieces that you can share with other people and hang on the wall and enjoy. Give us gifts. I'm sure you have friends or relatives that would love to have a piece of your artwork that you designed yourself. Or you're showing your creativity. I know I don't have any family, but I like for my friends to, with me, I like to share with them. Okay, now. Wipe my brush off good. And before I get into the yellow parts of him, I'm going to take my knife. There it is. And I'm going to put down a little white here on my. Mat. I'm going to wipe my knife off. I don't want to contaminate my black. I'm just a tad of black. Now, black goes a long way, so you don't want to use much of it. I'm just going to go to mixing. It's on that knife. Run into that white. To make me it can be a nice dark gray, like a charcoal gray. I'm going to take my micro brush because there's still plenty of black on that palette knife. I'm going to break that in white right there. And then I'm going to take the palette knife again and I'm going to go to stirring that in. There's some on the back of it. See, we'll match that off. Mix that in. I know since I keep dipping it into the black. You need a knife, you're just going to wipe off on the paper towel. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now, take my brush and paint just a little bit so I don't get it good and coated. Now we're going to just kind of dot it down the edge of the wing and down across the Bottoms of this. I'll be blending that in, but for right now, we're just going to dot it right along those lines in there. So we see where we've got to go. A 
bit right in there, a little bit right in there, a little bit right in there. There's some little illusions of feathers right up in here. Get there. Okay, now wipe that not that brush off again. I'm just gonna start blending that. Any woman that's put makeup on knows how to blend. Just little circular motions just to blend it in. Lighter or darker, depending upon what you know. Got light down and dark to it, you blend that. If you've got dark down and head light to it, you blend that. That keeps you from having big old garish changes. Seen somebody that's put on blush on their cheeks and didn't blend it in. They got red marks on their cheeks <laughs> from their blush. They didn't blend it in. And that's what we're doing here with this gray on the black and I'm gonna get just a tiny touch of black there to blend with this gray on the feathers because it's starting a little bit Maybe just a touch more I'll reactivate it and getting it under these desks it quick. Now, looking at him here, face, and looking at him on the camera are two different things because you see on the picture, this down in here, this looks really light. Now, face to face, it looks like it's blended in good. So, we don't want it to look that light. It's sitting out away from me rather than being right up on it I'd see it a lot better than what I'm seeing it here on the but got it a little dark now we're gonna go back in with just a little bit of gray and just blend down here and get the ends of these feathers just a little bit and I need just to put it into that black there, that's looking better. Blending is the key. Now I've got some dots right down in here, see? But I put in with the gray, and they're looking kind of harsh. So we'll tap just a little bit of black in there, and then we'll go to blending that. So, so spotty. Now I'm going to put a little gray to that black. I'm going to blend in that. And you may say, well, Brenda, why did you put that all in there in the first place all over it when you could have just done one? Because I like for it to be um, defined. I want to know where I have to go. And, it, you know, the gray will show me, okay, this is where to go with this. So... I mean, I could do it one piece of time. This is what works for me. You do what works for you. Dot just a little bit of black on that gray on these little feathers up here. And lighten this little spot up a little bit. With some black and some gray. Just blending it in. There on his shoulder. And there's a little spot right in here. It needs just a little more black paint. Streaking some feathers right in there. Might be a bald eagle, but you don't need to be a naked bald eagle. There we go with that. And now, since we've got so much black in there, we'll just put a tiny bit of gray. Wow, that was a bit much, but we blend it, we'll be okay. Yeah. 
That's it. Good job. Good job, sister. All right. Now, here, along the edge of that wing, needs a little more blending. So, touch just a little bit of black in there. And come back to that. Blend that little edge of wing right there. All right, now look at him. He needs a little bit more down in here, a little bit more black streaking for the feathers right over top of that gray. Let's give him some illusion of feathers. I'll keep on the wing with that. Well, come on, black paint. Just streak them in. Just like that. Okay. Yes, I'm sad. It's looking mighty fine. See back here, I like that little lightness that we got going on on that wing. It just kind of looks like the sun shining on him, making him glisten. Yeah. Now we got feet and talons and the beak and the eyeball. I'm going to get the talons. The talons are black. Talons are toenails, in case you don't know. Just get them in with the black paint. It's real quick here, quick and easy. Easy peasy. We got them. Wipe off the brush. And like I say, with the micro brush, all you got to do is just keep wiping it on a piece of paper towel until it stops putting out any color. You know you got that sponge tip all clean, but on your paper towel anymore. And that's how you do that. You don't have to dip them in water and mess around with all that. Just wipe them down until you got them clean on paper towel. Now. I'm gonna put the lid back on the black, put the lid back on the white. Mm, excuse me, on the white. Mm, I need a little bit. Well, I may need the white a little bit because I'm gonna mix a little white in with that yellow. This color yellow, this is apple barrel and it's called bright yellow. And the black and the white that I used is also apple barrel. It all come from Walmart. And Take my little palette knife and give me just a smidgy poo of white. It's gonna make a creamy yellow color. Mix it around. Mash your palette knife and have it. Mixy, mixy, mixy. You are not trying to paint the house, so you don't need a whole lot of paint there. So scraped up burner. Pile, wipe off my knife. Okay. Now, put the lid back on white. That's good enough. And you can't see really what I've got going here, but I'll try to get this so you can see most of it. Now he's got an eyeball up in here. I'm going to put some yellow up in his eye. Okay, now I'm going to wipe off that brush again. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of this gray. I'll give him a little touch in there in his eye. And you could come in with black if you wanted to, but I've got gray out here on the palette. And it's plenty dark enough for a spot in his eye eyeball. Well, it is if I can get some on the brush. Come on. Work with me. There it goes. Right there. 
right there. Now, I've wiped off the brush. Come back in with some yellow. I'm going to go right on the inside beak with this yellow. It's a nice creamy little yellow. You can if you wanted to, but I'm wanting that beak to kind of stand out there a little bit on his face. And I think the yellow will do it a little better than tan will. We'll come down here on his feet. I'll put a little bit of this yellow, and you can't see that, so I'll move the camera so you can. You can see that better than you can the pile of paint I'm dipping. I actually watch me painting him. Get his toes. Get his little leg here. Down here, get this toe. Come down there. Get that toe. And there is our majestic Mr. E. Enjoyed this. Down there in the description of the video gives my address for my Patreon channel, gives the address for my F. See address for my PayPal if you feel so inclined as to make a donation. Helps me buy craft supplies to keep these videos going. Uh, it has the address for my Twitch channel where I do videos over there every day too. It has the address for my Twitter and my Instagram account. I'm pretty easy to find most anywhere. So hopefully you'll look me up and any questions that you have, leave me some comments. Put a like on the video if you enjoyed this. And with all that being said, I reckon there's any, and that's Brenda's Crafty. Be like Brenda.